Hello everybody and welcome to Pay360 here in London. My name is Tyler Pay. I'm a journalist for the FinTech Times and I'm very, very happy to be joined now by PPS. How are you? Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, before we get going uh, on, our, on our conversation, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and, and your position at PPS? So I'm Aoife Hurley. I'm the um, Chief Strategy and Partnerships Officer at at uh, PPS. I've been at PPS a long time, um, over 10 years. And my role now is around um, defining the business strategy and working with um, and identifying new strategic partnerships for PPS. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for that. So maybe you can tell us a little bit more about exactly what PPS is and what its yeah. services look like. Yeah, so PPS is a UK-based um, payments processor and issuer. So we have a fantastic and highly configurable um, payments processing platform. Um, to go alongside that, we have licenses, e-money licenses in the UK and Europe in Belgium, where we also have an office. Um, our payments processing platform uh, enables um, businesses to use highly configurable APIs to develop um, really exciting and powerful um, payments products. Um, some of those applications include um, fintech, so we work with um, Moniz and Tide. Um, some of them are highly sustainable um, payments products like the work we're doing at um, Echo. And then we also work with a lot of um, merchants. We do a multi-currency card for TUI. So there's lots of different applications and use cases being powered by our platform. Lovely. Well, we'll be moving a little bit onto your partnership with Echo in, in just a sec, but I'm really interested to know about this sort of element of configurability within yeah. your within your payment process. I mean, you mentioned that the, the company has been going for a couple of years. How have you seen the appetite for that configurability develop with the sort of advent of fintech in a way? How, how has that changed? Yeah, so our parent company or one of our parent companies is Eden Reg, which is an employee benefits business by um, uh, by its kind of DNA and, and its history. And employee benefits by definition have to follow certain rules in order to benefit from the um, government regulations that go alongside them. And so that's how we've started to, to build the rules. Today, that's evolved into meeting the needs of many more businesses. Um, I was listening to a podcast the other night where they said, you know, payments is a right. Um, uh, and alongside that right, we have an obligation to make sure that um, the payments are processed safely and securely. And that's a big theme for today. So having a configurable payments platform allows us to make sure that the right payments are getting through and the right ones are being um, declined and that allows us to you know alter the um, use case and the customer experience and tailor it um, to the different um, programs that we serve. That's really, really fantastic. I think in terms of what we're seeing in the industry right now, we're, we're seeing a really big focus on security, especially within within payments. So it's, it's, it's really assuring to hear that that configurability is delivering that that secure capability that, that your your customers will, will be looking for. Just moving on to your, uh, your new partnership with Echo, can you tell us a little bit more about what that's bringing to the table? Um, so Echo is a, a fantastic um, uh, partnership that we have. Um, what Echo does is it's the start of showing customers how to spend better um, and making people more aware of their um, spending patterns and that allows them to alter them and to um, really think about how they're um, how they're spending, where they're spending, when they're um, when they're spending. What Echo does is it um, gives customers a carbon footprint calculation for um, when they spend. What that means is you can decide whether you want to continue spending in that way or spend with a different merchant, which might be um, uh, better for the environment. 
encouraging you, for example, to take the train rather than um, rather than fly. Yes, and uh, why why is that an appropriate partnership for the current economic climate? Um, well. We heard a lot already this morning at the conference um, around, um, and it was the MasterCard keynote around um, ESG and how we as an industry have to focus so much more um, than we than we do today on um, making payments more sustainable. We know that um, there are certain payment methods that are less sustainable. Bitcoin, we have we have a responsibility as these trends emerge to make sure that we're developing sustainable um, payment um, methods. So ECHO is one of the, um, I guess, the starting points for um, investment um, from a PPS perspective in uh, sustainable payments and, and looking at different applications. We've actually been doing a lot of it um, without even maybe thinking or calling it sustainable payments. We do a program in Spain that um, uh, encourages um, uh, employees to take public transport rather than to um, drive to drive to work. So, you know, those are different um, sustainable um, uh, way, uh, ways we can um, uh, we can make payments better. Um, what um, What's also important is we heard from MasterCard, one of our um, shareholders today, how um, key um, sustainability is in payments. But equally, our other parent company, Edenred, um, has a huge focus on um, sustainability as part of its core corporate agenda. And it's actually listed on um, the ESG index in Paris on the CAC. So, um, you know, sustainability is um, is key to everything that we do. I'm delighted to say that we've just moved into a new office um, that is um, highly sustainable as well in London. So everything that we do is starting to feed to that um, sustainable payments agenda. It's really comforting to see companies like PPS starting to sort of put their money where their mouth is. I mean, you, you mentioned, you know, moving into your new office and, and the, the purpose of this partnership is to deliver those sustainable initiatives that have become almost expected of, of consumers. Uh, and I think it's a trend that we will continue to see, you know, take uh, catch wind, you know, in, um, in the industry. But if we look beyond, beyond just sustainability and and what other trends are you start are you seeing starting to emerge in, in the industry? Well, a lot of them um, uh, are being talked about here today at the um, at the conference. So, a big trend we're seeing is account to account payments. Um, that's obviously emerging in the UK faster um, faster payments. Um, uh, we heard Chris Helmsley during um, uh, the last session talk about the need um, to evolve open banking um, to uh, you know to deal with some of the consumer um, protection uh, challenges that um, that we have today so while the technology exists some of the governance doesn't um, sit there quite yet um, in terms of making that um, technology accessible to a consumer um, audience we're seeing an explosion globally of digital um, digital wallets um, and you know really an evolution from from cards generally one trend that I'm really excited about is embedded finance um, I think that um, making pay payments seamless is really going to be a key trend that we will see um, over the next um, over the next few years and we'll definitely see your car being smarter your car making the payment um, for the toll rather than you having to stop and, and slow down um, and just generally um, seeing um, far more in innovative um, ways of making payments um, uh, a diversity in making in making payments it's a it's a future that we can that we can all look forward to together yes. and i think it's it's going to really be amplified by events like these like pay360 what, what are you hoping to get out of your attendance at, at pay360 this year um i'm delighted to be here um uh, for the first time in a while um because of covid um we haven't we haven't all been able to to be here um it's fantastic to meet 
um, so many of the um, industry already. Um, this morning I've met um, quite a few existing and, and, and also made some new uh, contacts. Um, a lot of the trends I've just talked about are being talked about um, here. I'm keen to hear more about what um, others um, uh, are doing in the industry. And of course, in my role as partners, partnerships lead, I'm here today to um, talk to existing and new partners. That's really exciting. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you. And I, uh, I hope to see more of you uh, on the floor later on.